Good morning everyone! Welcome back to another morning coffee with Admiral. Once again, we are also going to be playing Railroader. I have to say, I, I think I got addicted to this game. <laughs> it is really, really 
addicting. I have to admit that. In its simplicity and complication at the same time. It feels a bit grindy though, uh, which is one of the things that I got against this game. Th things take just way, way, way too long sometimes, although that's that's the life of the railway, isn't it? Uh, every single shunting maneuver will take ages to complete, etc, etc. And since you constantly do something, you are constantly busy. Uh, even though uh, the tasks are very repeatable. Move cars from here to there, from there to there, from there to there, and, and, and so on and so on and so on and so on. But that's, that's the idea of transport. You are just trying to make it efficient. And it would be a little bit more efficient on my railways if I would have some help. Uh, and that is the reason why I'm running open session. So if you want to join me, Feel free to do so. The details are on my Discord server. And you can find my Discord server by navigating to the panels under the player. Right. So, with that done, there is also a side dish that we are serving with those streams. Yes, yes. Uh, it's, it's called a side dish at the moment. And that's called Stream Raiders Chat. We need to beat some monsters and therefore we will be running stream raiders. There we go. Chat. It's early in the morning. It's pretty much quiet morning today. So I think we will go with easier challenge this time. Yes. Let, let, let's go with slightly easier challenge. So that we can build some numbers. Okay, chat. Let's, let's not jump ship. Uh, right. I believe I got something called daily tasks. And one of them was saying place two tanks. And therefore I shall be playing with a tank. There we go, yes, uh, I, I have to place two tanks. Uh, it, it would be nice to see, let's say, uh, a task list when I'm in this screen rather than going to home screen and etc, etc. It, it's a bit tedious to navigate that. There should be like a pop-up list where which shows me, okay, those are your tasks and perhaps you want to do that in the battle. Uh, there's also... Uh, some some sort of battle plan that I'm trying to build, you know, chat. Uh, I, I, I think we need to vibe in this area. And and, and then we we shouldn't be placing anything here. That that that's kind of pointless, you know. We we shouldn't be placing anything here because that's also pointless. Uh, we might have a few armored use units uh, some, somewhere around there. Uh, I, I, I think a support should be uh, in the middle between Vibers and, and, and Warriors. Uh, we, we need some, some Warriors somewhere around there. And, and ranged, yes. A ranged units uh, will have their own corner. There we go. And maybe let's make it bigger. Yeah. And, and then... A spy will be a very lone warrior somewhere there. Okay, and, 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 and the rest will vibe. Yes, and, and, and that's the battle plan, chat. So I am vibing. Someone else might be tanking and, and, and doing other fancy stuff. Yes. I, I think that's a good plan. Let, let's stick with it. There we go. We got Tank at level 5 from Nico Fabi. Perfect. Welcome to the stream, by the way. Welcome to the stream. Okay. Chat. Battle plan has been done. 
And now the rest is on you. You've got 27 minutes to build a massive army that will crush our enemies. In the meantime, we shall go back to our beautiful railway. So, uh, where we left off. Uh, ARC-13 refueled and it was ready to start switching those cars. Finally. I believe we have left some cars at Whittier and therefore we will need ARC-1. And in order to get it, we probably need to throw some switches. Okay, I might throw this one. I might also throw this one. And now... Okay, we got train for Ila Farm and Stenzel. We also got stuff for Whittier Sawmill. So, let's focus on Ila Farm and Stenzel first. Uh, because... Whittier Sawmill will be ready in literally just a few hours. That, that shouldn't be a big deal. Uh, also, number 7 is crying out. Uh, because it arrived at Bryson. So let's disable the root mode. Perfect. I shall... load passengers and in the meantime road forward 15 okay we need to refuel our passenger locomotive which is a bit of a tedious task if you are doing this at Bryson but it is what it is It has to be done. Uh, number 10 is doing that. Oh, number 3 was left here. Yes, with uh, Bryson Bridge stuff. So, let us put a hand brakes. Perhaps two. And the coupler can go off. Now we need to stow some cars at Appalachian Hardwoods. And then we'll get back to Bryson. Team. Okay, orders road forward 15. And I'm gonna need you to stop somewhere there. So we can then reverse into Appalachian Hardwood. Speaking of Appalachian Hardwoods. Yeah, that, that will be ready soon. G3A, okay, so that is, yeah, this one is M. Okay, we will stow the car on, on the appropriate siding, because that's, that's what we are getting paid for. Uh, but number three will have to return here and extract those two wagons uh, in a couple of hours anyway. And then we have this car yeah th this one is going to be ready soon as well uh, so we will be back at Appalachian Hardwoods in just a matter of a few hours right let's have a look at number seven it should be ready now yeah it is so number seven you shall reverse head on this way Up onto this track. And 
then oh and, and, and then you're gonna be stuck with number 10 no, 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 no. they are still 10 you better move and you shall do it quick or there is another train coming there we go that's the stuff now ARC3 uh, switches are now set for you Therefore, you shall reverse. Yeah, everything is set. Okay, number one is still heading to Whittier. And now, number 13, lucky one, needs to go road forward 15. First cars we got are... Oh, okay. It's them. Okay, so I will need to cut all that. And get those cars stowed where they belong. Although I'm in rather terrible spot to do it. Yeah. That's that's not the best spot, Jeff. Uh, but we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it, Jeff. Yard forward five. No, CS1 is there, so I need to cut it there. So SH1 will go there. Then HD1 will need to go there. Okay. And PW1s are going on the opposite side of that house. Okay, uh, that's not applied, that's not applied, that's not applied, not applied, and that needs releasing, there we go, road reverse 15, now you need to go all the way there. Perfect. Okay, ARC3 is looking at another train, which means this is ready to be pushed together. Okay, and number seven is under the chute. Perfect.
Okay, and now I'm always getting lost. This. Is it this one or this one? This one or this one? I think it's this one. Okay, that that it was this one. Uh, now it went too far. Oh my days! You always need to do it in manual mode. That's better. Only a bit better. But it's still better. Okay, number three probably finished. Yeah, it finished. And it, it already started loading. Oh, okay, because this is at 52 tons. So I will have to extract this car in just a minute. Oh, my days. Yeah, and this looks full and it will change the way bill in, in just a minute. Oh, my days. Streamy, good morning. Welcome to my stream. I hope you will have a great time today. Ah, thank you for the head part. I'm good. I'm good. Chilling. As always in the morning. ARC1 made it to Whittier. That sounds like a progress. We got not a single car in here. Everything seems to be lo loading at Connolly Creek. Probably I should have picked up something, but hey. Uh, not doing that right now so I got two cars to stow at stencil and two cars for Ela let's get them sorted Those cars, no handbrakes on this car, and no handbrakes on this car. Does anything have a handbrake? Yes, this one has. Perfect. Okay, so number one, uh, how's the water situation? Yeah, this is good. Therefore, number one may now reverse into Whittier. And we need to find this place. There we go. And for stencil, we want... Oh, okay. 
I can't send it to the siding. I, yeah, obviously. I forgot that. In order to send something to the siding, I literally need to just drive in and then reverse through it. Because, yeah, logic. Also, chat, the ads will be starting soon. So let's let's do a quick pause so that no one will lose any content. Also, thank you for the cool shade. Ooh. Almost missed that. Welcome back, everyone. Right, so, uh, while you were checking out the adverts that Twitch is serving you, uh, I just managed to connect number seven back to passenger coaches. So, glad hands can be connected. Now, let's set this thing. Hang on. 
gun, 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 to basically run the passenger train for me. And if not for the fuel that AI can't refill, this thing would be running forever, literally. Uh, but, but I'm afraid this uh, 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 it's not possible so yeah every every single run i still need to manually refill the locomotive and, and do all that shunting around bryson to get things ready uh atrimi you uh, you are not sure how to install mods so uh whistles that are linked in in the description when you press on the link it opens up the comment section and check what Nico wrote in, in the comments. Uh, is it Nico? No, uh, it's uh, Mod Autor uh, who suggests to put all those whistles into a specific folder. So if you do that, the mod is installed. Uh, when it comes to Root Manager, uh, that's a little bit more complicated. So inside the article, there is a link to that uh, uh, tiny program. It is called. Hang on, let me just. Oh, why did I start with this one? Eh. I need to prepare myself next time for those questions. And. Beppy next. Oh, there we go. So first you need that Beppy next, and you copy the Beppy next files into the game folder. You start the game once. You turn off the game, and then within Beppy next files there should be plugins folder or something, and then you copy that single DLL from. Uh, from root manager although technically you don't need any mods to be installed in order to join me uh, because it's only client side so if you don't have the whistles you will just hear the standard whistle on each and every locomotive if i'm using any of the modded whistles so basically that's the difference But for the future, I will try to put a quick instruction how to install the mods. Although if you follow the links, the instructions are inside the links on, on both mods. So it shouldn't be too hard to actually follow them. And they are probably written in better English than I will be able to pull out. <laughs> Uh, no, you don't need root manager as long as you are not going to run a passenger train or program it. Uh, it will run itself uh, from from my PC, uh, from whatever I set it up. Yeah, and it should work. Fantastic, fantastic. I, I guess I will have someone to do shunting around Silva then. Which helps. I need to move that fusee there.
Uh, there we go. This one is now empty. So this one goes in yard reverse 20. Should be enough to get me to this car. Number one is now at Whittier. Very good. Uh, there is nothing at Stenzel, which also helps. We may now close this one. And I can also set things up for the passenger train. Because it will definitely go through this area quicker than me. That is now opened, that is now sorted, and ARC1 can now do road forward 15. So those two cars will be stored where they belong. Number three just connected. Oops, uh, to. This one, perfect. I can see a dreamy joint. Hello, hello, good morning. Uh, let's check it out. Is Atrimi with me? Hello. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Alright, what, what do you need me to do? Uh, right, just give me a second. Let me finish one thing also your battle is ready uh yes i know i know battle is ready uh, so ev everything happened at the same time you joined <laughs> and, and obviously the battle is ready and and the world is like collapsing you know like uh, I, I need to sort out multiple crises at the same time. First of all, uh, right, I will uh, uh, find you and upgrade your role to, to crew so you can actually operate trains. <laughs> that would be useful. Uh, now, if you can join Silva uh, crew, so right. uh, open company panel, go to cruise and join Silva. Uh, you can also Oof, leave with here. Okay, perfect. Perfect. And at Silva, you got number 13. There we go. Perfect. Uh, hang on, let me just quickly check. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I haven't updated your switch list. I'm much gonna work with what I have in Silva, I suppose. Is there anything else? Yeah. No, there is nothing I need to change. It will work. There's still a lot of waybills to, yeah, there we to go. be done. I see. I see that. Right. Hello. Hello. 
Uf. Okay. Chat, I remember that the battle is ready. Just give me a second. Let me just finish this one thing while I'm on it. Well. Okay, I, I I think I just finished updating your switch list. So have fun. Just don't press clear it, uh, so it won't uh, clear all the cars that are currently spotted and they will update uh, when they change destination so as long as you don't clear your uh, switch list they will remain there i haven't used the switch list so i'm not really sure of what i'm supposed to do with it but okay i'm not gonna clean well up switch, the, the switch list is basically a list of things that you still need to do so okay. it it will help you keep track of of what cars need switching and what cars doesn't or what, what you have completed. So everything that is crossed out is currently in the correct place. Everything okay. that is not crossed out is in the wrong place and you need to place it in the right place. Uh, so yeah, since you operate around Silva and Dillsboro, uh, it, it's very easy to, to miss some cars that, that might be spotted in the wrong place. So switch list will help you Keep track of what you've done and what you still need to do. Right. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Okay, so have fun with it. Uh, right. Uh, you tankists know what to do. Uh, you are basically a singular manager of Whittier. Mm, I just for now wait for the train release. Uh, a track between Eli and Schwitter. Because I deliver supply wagons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just watch out because there is a uh, number seven at Ila. Uh, I see, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, okay. So let him through. All right, chat. So now we can do a stream raiders. You've been waiting for that. I have nice and vibing army. And I have nice defensive army. In fact, I, I am surprised with mm. how large the army is. <laughs> At ABS, uh, better uh, if you watch out uh, what, uh, what train in uh, track. Because single machine uh, track are free or uh, passed by uh, uh, comic train from another station. There we go. Much like in a train scan, if, if, if train you... For, for example, you stay at the... Uh, that, that was uh, very, very quick. Still, yes. And train goes from uh, Viter. And uh, seeing that uh, I hit you are... Closed. Because the uh, line I hit you are reserved. Yeah, sure. Here, uh, still only reads uh, next uh, next uh, block. All right, chat. Is a is a problem. All right, chat. We have completed the battle. Uh, so sorry for the chatter in in the background. There is always something happening when we do the battle, and and there is nothing happening in between, and and it's sometimes really bad timing, I say. <laughs> anyway, anyway. I shall place another tank and therefore we will defend oh we got Zaid the wolf with artillery I, I like the frozen artillery really really nice touch we got paladin okay so as always I will make a quick battle plan the first row and perhaps the second row yes keep it for the tanks and the rest will be vibing behind there we go. That, that's a very, very simple plan. Uh, you might squeeze in a few supports to, to help us, you know, 
like uh, typical stuff yeah assassins on the side they will be squeezing through the forest and, and going through the mountains to defeat the enemies and and the rest is is just vibers yes uh, just vibe and, and and that will be fine this army will be perfectly fine and great i i'm sure of it chat i'm sure of it whenever i choose a an easy challenge yeah you guys show up in large numbers whenever i i choose a a bit harder challenge uh we we tend to not gather enough uh soldiers to, to defeat the enemy uh, we need to turn that around chat let let's try and turn that around and, and we will be able to get greater rewards in the future because greater risk means greater rewards anyway i'll leave that to you you got 28 minutes to form a nice battle line and in the meantime we will get back to our railway which is getting populated with more workers which means that things will go quicker hopefully uh right 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 uh tankis uh, you mentioned that uh, we should switch ctc to manual mode yeah uh here here for now at uh manual mode i not switch to ctc yeah yeah so the reason why i won't switch it right now is because i don't have a person that will be doing this each and every day Ah, you suggest uh, push me a dispatcher, yes? No, I, I, I suggest to have a person to work as a dispatcher each and every day. And at this moment, we don't have a free position for that. Because I need someone to run trains rather than someone to do a dispatching. Because then there is no one to send the train. Uh, to not get uh, stuck, yes. Not, not just yet. Like, if we will get more people who will be willing to run trains, then I can get one person who is willing to do dispatching to do dispatching. But at this point, if I will send one of you to do dispatching, then there is one less of us to run trains. Mm. So it's better to just observe the map and if you know that the train is coming and it's a single line uh, or single track line I, I, I think you can wait a bit and, and, and that's the best you can do Worst case scenario you will have to reverse because passenger train is the only AI operated train that won't realize that it needs to reverse Right, anyway, chat. Since now I got help around Silva and Whittier, I can focus solely on on this stuff. Uh, so we can decouple this car. Oh, there we go. And I got this car to extract. This is starting to be a bit annoying. <laughs> Now I will be jumping from left to right, from right, right to left. Okay, let me just do it this way. Uh, let's let's go forward 15. I will stow that Appalachian Hardwoods R1. Then I will pick up this car. Reverse to pick up this car. Set off those interchange cars on, on the separate tracks. And then put back G3A uh, where it belongs. That's a bit more shunting than it's technically needed, but hey, that's the price I'm paying for arriving early. Anyway, now everything should be very, very efficient.
that's the most important part. That's one car sorted. I need to extract those two silver interchange cars. And then Bryson team is... Ah, I keep forgetting which one is which. But yeah, one of them is going to, uh, to the mainline track. Uh, next to the platform. And the other one is going next to the sidings. I'll figure it out. First I need to get those two. Tankis is at Ila, he's gonna sort out things there. And now let's have a quick look at at Trimi. Okay, so he spotted this one. Still haven't spotted them ones. But that is something that he will be able to do soon. Rick of money to buy switcher S23. Okay. We have money, you say. Well, we do. Right. Uh, that will be done at the end of the day. Uh, because I will need to take your locomotive back to interchange. Uh, does give time can I uh, shunt all two wagons? Uh, but it won't be sold immediately, so you might as well use it throughout the day. Um, At the end of the day, send number one to Silva uh, Interchange. Okay, under okay, understood. Because I want to sell it and recover some of the costs of the new switcher.
There we go. Let's do... Can't remember which one I got. Uh, hang on, let, let me just quickly check this one. Equipment, customize, CP, step top, flight, jump. Okay. Uh, there we go. That That's going to be a chime for number four. Uh, right, Tankis, number four is ready for you at Interchange. You can send it to Whittier. Uh, wait, number four? Number four now. It is at Interchange. You can pick it up. Um, uh, wait, uh, number one to Interchange, yes? No, you, you can keep number one until end of the day and then send it back uh, at the end of the day. So for now, you can use two locomotives if you need them. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, at the end of the day, I need it back uh, so I can sell it uh, because it's going to sell for $4,725, which is pretty much half the price of, of the switcher that you just got. Mm -hmm. That's oh, and don't forget that the new locomotives doesn't come with the full tank of fuel. So you will need to put some. There we go, chat. We are ready here. Uh, uh, what the heck? Um, listen, just. Select S23 and uh, press follow. I've I found I've found the place where uh, biofuel locomotives are uh, located. I mean, I know where it is. It is yes. an interchange. It's, I it's, uh, it's uh, in nowhere. It's just on. Uh, in square f for uh, 15, 15 on 15 meters. In uh, nowhere, where no textures or so like that. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, what? What? Uh, just, uh, just look at equipment and uh, select S23 and uh, press follow. And now you understand what I talk about. Well, it, it, it doesn't seem to work for me. Well, both S23s are near Silva and uh, both another, of them. Another. Ah, wait. Nani? It, it's just your PC that takes ages to load this area. No, I, I think we have a, a broken uh, switcher on our side. <laughs> if I, you look uh, on Discord, we have uh, one switcher <laughs> that is in the void. <laughs> <laughs> really? Oh, so so for you, it is also in the void. Yeah. Yes. Are you serious? Oh my days. I sent another. I, I sent similar screenshot. It's just Bruch. <laughs> oh my god. I just. I just. Re I just reconnect. I mean. Okay. This synchronization is so funny. Sometimes it's so funny. Think. I mean, right now when things are reloaded, uh, it should work for both of you. Because since you reconnected, uh, no, it's yes. reloaded. No, yes. It it works. Yes. Okay, How? and Wait. you, Atrimi, can you check if it works for you? Uh, because when tank is reconnected, the whole it's map got... It's still broken on my side, so I guess I'm gonna have to reconnect as well. Oh, I see. Uh, that That's interesting bug. So whenever I buy a new locomotive and, and you guys are connected, you will have to reconnect to see it. <laughs> that, well, that's... Well, well, we can see it. We just can't see it on the track. 
Yeah, that so that that doesn't really help things, is it? <laughs> yeah. Me, I buy train game, yes. But but where is this uh, locomotive? In the void. Well, that's one place to put it. Right, chat. So we got two switches now. be a change of plans. Uh, Tankis, there's gonna be change of plans for number one. Mm. At the end of the day, before heavy freight train is going to uh, going to move to Silva, I want you to refuel it. And put it at uh, Whittier. Uh, engine shed. <laughs> it's going to act as a helper for heavy train. At least for now, until it gets sold. And also tankist, uh, join crew Whittier. You are currently at Silva for some reason. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, I will assign this to heavy freight. Okay, perfect. And now things are organized, chat. I like when things are perfectly organized helps to run things. Uh, hang on. What was I doing? There we go. Right, chat. So that solves uh, a problem of sending a switcher from Bryson to Whittier to help climb the grade uh, that is between Whittier and Silva. And for now, we might be able to get away without buying a new locomotive, at least throughout today. Uh, because we only have $1,157. Obviously, passengers are going to make a lot of money for me. But before I can buy, let's say, uh, C46 Consolidation, which is my goal uh, to, to get it until we unlock red marble grade which will happen in like a two three weeks time probably uh, I, I still need 20 grand to have a strong heavy freight locomotive so then i can reduce the number of shunters and i still need some powerful switcher uh, like s23 or perhaps s51 uh, because we will gain access to coal mines and that's another work to be done okay that needs to be connected that needs to be released okay chat now we will have some something to do and that needs to go further. So now I will be dipping things onto this truck as well.
Okay, so ambitious plans have been created. This is currently unloading. Which also means that the bridge will be ready soon. As this is a third phase. Go. Perfect. Gonna reload. Okay. Thing. That will do. train is now heading to Silva, which is here, then it's going to reverse.
I, I see things are getting busy around Silver. in the gauge perfect reverse in fact yard reverse 20 there we go need to pick up this car go this is now ready we can leave this area now time to stow these cars okay, gonna go through there and now uh, that's what needs to be thrown that one needs to be thrown that needs to take us forwards so I want to reverse into that. Uh, we need to go there. And we need to go forward. To this pull out track. Basically that track is going to be used solely to go past the train. And then reverse where I need it. To side. And that's the main purpose why it's built. So you can drag out long stretches of train and not enter the main line which is considered those two tracks that's why they have signals and this one doesn't Chat 22 seconds until beginning of the next battle. What's going on with number 4 and 13? Okay. Oh, I see. Tankers will have to wait for... Free trap. Right, chat, the battle is ready, so let's hop in. Look at this beautiful crowd. Let me boost the defenses of our defenders. And we shall begin. Perfect, our ranged units are doing exactly what they are supposed to do, which is fighting from behind our lines. Our brave defenders are taking the beating.
Ooh, that artillery is really, really doing a lot of work. It's probably one of the most overpowered units in the game. I have to admit that art there's nothing that beats artillery. If, if you can gather an army of, let's say, five or six artillery pieces, it's, it's going to destroy everything, like literally. It will completely obliterate any army that stands in their way. Obviously, the only drawback of artillery is that it doesn't really fire that often. But it's something that you can go around. Right, chat. Uh, since we got some nice and good numbers today, let's head on to moderate challenge. See, early in the morning I was a bit afraid that we might not have the numbers today and I took the easier path. And it turns out I could have gone with the hard path and, and you guys are absolutely amazing. And yeah, you just destroy the enemies. Right, I, I will place that truly epic centurion. For some reason it looks like a... Uh, health potion from Diablo. And the rest is on you, chat. The rest is on you. I'm looking forward to see a massive and great army. And I'm sure I'm not going to be disappointed. In the meantime, let's have a look at our railway. Um, Atrimi, I think you missed the siding that, that you were I know, on. I know. <laughs> How did you manage to do that? You forgot to throw the switch. <laughs> oh. And you don't need a fusee on that siding. Uh, AI will just push it all the way to the buffer. Yeah, but you don't really need to. Uh, what? To yeah, push it all the way, I mean. Uh, you can always push it all the way. Th this way you make sure that it is on the siding. As soon as the curve stops, the, uh, the station is uh, counts, so... I just have three cars to put here. I don't feel like going all the way in is... Uh... Oh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Give it three cars then. Right. Tankis, how are things going out with you? Uh, Planting um, uh, with the signal cars. Ah, yes. Good. So it's only skeleton cars that will need shunting later, is it? Yeah, they are already. Okay, so you you have nearly done everything. Uh, same goes to Atrimi. He has, like, what, three cars to move? Okay, yeah. He, he still has stuff for interchange to move, but... There's, like, one... Three cars. Yeah. I have the three cars and then one more. And I'll be done after that. Very good. Very good. Okay. In the meantime, chat number three made its way where it belongs. Okay. 
So now I can throw this switch and this switch. And number seven is currently heading back to Bryson. Oh, I see. So Bryson team is, is this one. So I will need to go onto the main track after I stole these cars. That's actually good because uh, by the time number seven comes back, I should be done with stowing this car. Road reverse 20 sure that the order is now updated. Okay, let me just throw Hello, the switches. Sophie. Do you want me to yeah. send uh, number 11 to Dealsboro? Number 11? What is number 11? The new switcher. Why is it oh, number 11? it's number 4 on your stream. On my end, it's number 11. <laughs> How is it number... Oh my days. Probably that's why it's in the void. I, I changed the number to number 4. And it still haven't updated for you guys. <laughs> Maybe. Wait, wait, what's happened again? So, do you want me to send that new switcher to Diasboro? Uh, I, I want you to send it to Whittier. Right. Will it have enough uh, fuel to go all the way there? Has no other choice. Alright then. <laughs> I'm sending it. <laughs> Good. Oh, come on. Give me a break. Yard reverse. Help a car. It's connected. Chat. How unlucky I have to be for this train to be just half a car away from coupling distance. Okay, now I will apply two. Road forward 15, there we go. Yeah, so that probably explains why the the S23 was in the void when when you tried to look at it. Yeah. Uh, Maybe. At my side are all good. All good. So Ele it is 11, 11 at uh, still another one uh, shunting at silver two. But From my side, all good. It's not all good because it's it's supposed to be number four. What? It is number four. Um... Or it is supposed to be number four because on your end it will be number eleven. Desynchronization again.
Right, chat. In 10 seconds, uh, Twitch will serve you some ads. So, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be back with the content in three minutes. All right, chat, I'm back and I hope you all are back after the ad break. Right, so while I was making myself another coffee and, and you were watching some adverts that Twitch is serving you, I thought that we need to make some changes when it comes to numbering our locomotives and it needs to have some meaning to it, okay? Uh, which will 
help us in the long run. In a short run, perhaps not as much, yes? Uh, but, basically, I want the locomotives to be marked by their tractive effort, or basically their power. And this way, we can always check, okay, this is this number locomotive, I know this will have a lot of tractive effort. It will do the job, okay? So, in order to do so, we will be making some changes and I will be renumbering the locomotives really soon. Basically, tractive effort is uh, displayed in thousands of pounds, yes? So, the weakest locomotive in the game is G16 Mogul, which is, for example, number 3. And it has tractive effort of 16,000 uh, 16, pounds. And that's it, yes? 10-wheeler will have 16,900, but it's still within 16,000, okay? Pacific has 18,000, and 10-wheeler has 21. So we will make different levels for different locomotives so since mogul is between 10 and 20 we can plug it as 10 at the front which will basically flag it into uh, which will put it as a uh, this kind of range of locomotive uh, pacific will also be in 10 at the front because obviously uh, it has 18,000. But 10 wheeler will already class as 20 at the front. And then specific number. Uh, switcher will be in 20s. Consolidation will be in 20s. G25 will be in 20s. Atlantic will be in 20s. Logging tank Mikado will be in 20s. But logging Mikado will be already in 30s. Pacific will be in 40s. Uh, or P43 uh, will be in 40s. And basically, if if you look at these numberings, they also reflect that. Yeah, B65 will have 65. Yeah, uh, G16 will be in 16. Uh, so basically, we will try to mimic this in our numbering. And obviously, numbering will also include uh, diesel locomotives if we will ever get ones. Although, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, both EMD and, and Berkshire would be in 60s in that case. Okay, yeah. Uh, so our numbering will be with precision up to 10,000 pounds. So we can have more locomotives within specific groups. Okay. I hope that explains things a little bit more about the organization that I'm trying to introduce. So I will soon do a great renumbering. Okay, uh, let me just first store this car where it belongs. There we go. So that's done. I can now isolate that switch. And I can isolate that switch. So that when passenger train arrives, it won't end up on this track. Perfect. Right, so getting into into that thing, uh, this will be ten zero three. There we go still haven't changed the numbers in here. Oh, okay. It did. It did. Okay. 
this one it's g25 so that will be 20 zero one okay Or should I keep it to three digits? Chat. You know what? Another change of plans. That will be 103. There we go. Yeah, it's it's much better and, and it's visible on, on, on the markings. We don't really need to put full number, yeah. That that's actually better. So first first num first digit of the number will describe detractive effort in tens of thousands. So two will mean twenty thousand or twenty to thirty thousand. Uh, okay, yeah, that that actually makes Passenger sense. Passenger train is locked at the interchange of wheat here. Okay, uh, Tankist, can you throw the switches at Whittier? No, oh, we had some. At Whittier, you need to change the switches so that number 7 can progress to Whittier uh, station. I see, 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 see. Right, and that is 101. There we go. This is uh, equipment as nice. One zero two. Let let's call it one zero two. There we go. And that will be one zero four. Oh no, that that will be two zero. Two in that case. Because we got Yeah, two zero one is uh heavy freight locomotive. Okay, perfect. Now we got interchange equipment customized. That will be two zero three. <clears throat> there we go. Perfect. So now we have some meaning into numbering of, of the locomotives and, and locomotives will have three digit long numbers. Which might be a bit confusing throughout today's stream because by the time it will update for Atrimi and Tankist, uh, yeah, it will be probably tomorrow. <laughs> it apparently renamed them all. Oh, so so renaming works. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that new engine. <laughs> okay. But now it's all good. Okay, so. That's one good thing. <laughs> also, just for information, the new switcher number 202 is uh, heading towards Whittier. Yeah, I can see him. And uh, I'm done with my tasks for now. Are you sure about that? Well, I just have the um, Sylvia interchange stuff now. Have we collected all of them? I, I can still see one wagon that you don't have. Uh, I was waiting a bit more for the for the other stuff to get used first. Oh, I see. So you want that salt to be used then and sugar. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, so we are just waiting for Tankis to finish with the Connelly Creek stuff. 
and set it at width here. And we will be able to advance time. Right uh, You may use that time to refuel your locomotive at Dillsboro. That's what I was just thinking, so yeah. <laughs> There we go chat, we are entering that quiet moment when not much will be happening on the railways. Okay, that, that should do, is it? It is just a bit off, okay. There we go. Water is refilled. Now with the fueling done. I can 
get 103 out of the way. just waiting for 101 to finish these operations 202 is now joining with your division chat and while we observe tankist or rather while we were observing tankist the battle is ready so let's jump into stream raiders okay chat i'm happy to i'm happy to announce that this crowd is getting bigger and bigger i'm really happy to see that chat all of you ladies gentlemen and everyone in between are amazing look at this beautiful crowd i shall grant a a blessing calling killing field yes we will boost meal damage, which will pretty much uh, counter what Zeus is doing. Uh, because it will reduce 50 per, uh, attack speed by 50%. So, yeah, uh, they will be reduced by 50%, but they will be double buffed in, in power. So, it should be better, it should be better. Let the battle commence. Congratulations to everyone. Each one of you will get four gold coins. And the Mokkel will also get Barbarian Scroll with Hibdom getting additional 25 gold. Congratulations. And now let us carry on with another battle. All right, everyone. Let's get a vampire. And the rest is on you, chat. The rest is on you. I'm looking forward to see this beautiful and massive army. I'm sure you will build something great. And I will be proud of you.
back to railroad there. All right, so Tankis is switching his cars. We need to wait for this to be finished before. before we can progress. Um, I have to say that he has weird choice of, of cars to, to pick up. Uh, he could have just picked up half of them and then left the other half still loading. But hey, I, I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, right. Let's have a look at number two. Oh, 202 is going way too far now there we go there just to make sure that the locomotive is not getting lost Rooted. go well three thousand five hundred dollars yeah passengers are really really paying a lot of money for fires and that's good that is really 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 good one for now perfect
that is a bit less than perfect. I didn't notice that this switch was thrown. go Quiet. So, loads of cargo on these. Uh, nothing new showed up in here. That's, that's going to take ages to be ready. Them two are. Yeah, this one will be ready probably like tomorrow. That still has plenty. Yeah, Silva seems to be very, very quiet now. O three seems to be refilling, is it? Yeah, two O three is refilling. Oh, there is one. This hopper is now ready to go to interchange. And the calling tower is still not full. Good. Chat. There is a question. Should we invest into Dillsborough Yard? Or perhaps we should wait with that? Hmm.
Oh, I see. So the bridge will probably enable only that. And then we need a larger junction Y. That will definitely be needed. Yeah, you gotta build the Y at Alarka Junction. It's gonna make like a massive triangle for Triangle Junction. Okay, okay. But it if not for useful. Uh, if not for God, um, for the call for um, not for God, um, call mine uh, near Alarka Junction. You need a uh, local like. Um, P43 Pacific, maybe. Or Atlantic. Why are you moving my locomotive? <laughs> I don't know. You might as well get this wagon closer to... Silver. I, I was waiting for the time skip, just in case I need to take some stuff from Diosboro. Oh. Uh, is there anything that is about to be ready, to be honest? Uh... If I don't know the... Okay, okay, the middle us. car on Locust Pin and the CO might be ready. Uh, yeah. If that's one that is actually unloading. I think it's loading. W uh, we'll see, I just prefer waiting for the time skip. <laughs> oh, yeah, we still need to wait for Tankis to finish. Yeah. Well, can I... Uh... My ten are moving to Samuel. I meanwhile watch an um, interesting uh, cartoon from 1975. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, my god, this train arrived at Bryson. Uh, so. Pinchcliffe Grand Prix. Uh, it's a uh, very Fueling of number seven. Uh, number seven. I'm, I'm still calling it number seven, chat, and, and it's 102. There we go. Yes, we need to refill 102 before we can send this train further down the road. Uh, in the meantime, I may. load the passengers reminds me I need to change the numbers of my uh, passenger cars and the passenger cars should have four digit number
Yeah. Huh? Go. Ah, uh, now it's too far. Let's try it again. Find that good spot to stop. Okay, so when you look at this leg, one, two, three, four. Okay, 
I need to remember that it's fifth. Oh no, it's not quite there yet. It's just behind the fifth. Let's try it again. So it's gonna be five and a half sleepers behind this leg. And technically the tender should stop under the spout. Correctly now. Yeah, sounds like a plan. Ooh, perfect. So two behind this pole or this this post will set you properly for the shoot. And five and a half behind this leg or this concrete support. So you get one, two, three, four, five and a half. And that will stop you behind this, uh, under the spout. So if you were ever struggling with that, we now found the proper solution for it. Just. We now know where to put our fuzzies to pull out the perfect stuff. Well, for AI to pull out the perfect stuff. And that is only if you are going tender first. We also need to find the distances if you are going uh, the locomotive first although that will differ for each and every locomotive because unlike water hatch and uh, and basically like a main compartment of the tender and uh, the rest is not that easy so it will be individual for each and every locomotive while tenders are more likely universal so i'm quite sure that the same distances would apply for 201 as they apply for 102. well i'll log and spark it let's get it on our loading from now Okay. Your way bills, and they have now been updated. And also, we now have Hemingway, Alarca Junction, and other places to visit.
Okay, and with that said, we got... Got some coal to pick up. Or rather, coal to deliver, is it? Yeah. This is gonna be very, very interesting. Also, let's have a look at the milestones. Yeah, we will sort out the uh, Alarka Junction. Why? Just so that this can be done and it will unlock Alarka branch in the future. Ooh, chat. Red marble, great to Andrews. Ooh, this is going to be very difficult. Ascent. Obviously, there is Pontana Lake Bridge. lot of stuff to be done chat a lot of stuff to be done in here we got two grand in our pockets mm. okay uh, let me just go back to number 102 Road reverse 15. Perfect. And chat. The battle is ready. Let's have a look at this. Okay. Okay. So. Looks like our army shrunk a little bit. But. We should still be able to defeat all those monsters. We got... Mono Bear with his uh, level 30 Swift Foot Rogue that is a bit out of the way. Okay, okay. Let me boost our offensive powers with Killing Field. Let's begin the battle. Okay, looks like my vampire has fallen. Our brave army is beating the enemy quite nicely. Chat, we won. 
with still 25 aisle, uh, well, uh, with still 25 allies on the battlefield. And I got Nyx Vampire Skin. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. Collect the rewards. Okay, we got Spell Tom, which means that our spells will be even stronger. And gone. Captain Spells. Which one shall we upgrade? Hmm, that's a good question. We mostly use Killing Fields, Stronghold, and Curse. I, I rarely use High Ground or Haze. But I think Stronghold will help us best. Yeah, there we go. And this one will last for 32 seconds now. It will buff melee damage by 100%. Oh no, hang on. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at the wrong one. This one will last for 31 seconds. Buffs armor defense by 50% and maximum defense by 10%. Cooldown time is 0 minutes. Nicely done. Okay, we are now heading towards the next battle. All right, everyone. Let us. Hmm. Which one should I use? I always struggle. Uh, Shinobi seems like a good one. No, Shinobi is not a good plan. I need armored unit. We are going to defend. Therefore, my tank will be defending. Because in, in this area, we got a lot of defensive battles. Right, chat. So, place your units now. You got 29 minutes to build a massive army that will successfully defend this area. In the meantime, we are heading back to our railroad. Things are moving. Things are moving now, chat. 103 is heading to pick up those wagons. 102 is currently watch looking at another train, which means that it is ready to do reverse 5. Perfect. I'm also debating whether I should invest into another passenger couch. I think for now we will have to do with what we got, although these are running full. Can I actually afford additional rail car? Uh, that's twice more expensive than what I got. Obviously, ideal one would be Osgood Bradley 1915. But this one is twice as heavy as this one. Uh, so to get Bradley 1915, I would have to upgrade things. Also, chat, the ads will start soon, so let me just quickly dispatch this train and I'll be back with you after the ad break. Here we go. There we go, the train is now departing. Oh, 103. I need to move it manually.
There you go. Welcome back, everyone. We continue our operations on the railway. Uh, on our newly built Alarka Junction branch. actually build signals there. Not yet. You'll need to build uh, the junction and then you will be able to make signals. Oh, so that's going to be Hemingway to Brooks, is it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, what do you think if I uh, sent uh, uh, number one to Silva? Ah, uh, uh, wait. One hundred one to Silva with um, freight train from Sedno. Uh... No, 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 no. I, I want you to leave number one at Whittier and wait for the heavy train. Because number one will never make it with that pull put. It's just too heavy. For some reason, hang on. For some reason, it's not opening this junction. Uh, why is it doing this? Hang on. Uh, where am I with the camera? Let's go to Hemingway and let's see what's going on in here. Okay. There's nothing blocking Hemingway. There's nothing seem uh, seemingly blocking Alarka Junction. So show me that. Okay, for some reason these uh, those two signals have closed. Oh, now it's open. Okay. Yeah, it works the same way as Whittier. You have to put yourself on the main line. Yeah, I know, but uh, it, it was set to the main line previously. And the signal still didn't work. I had to reset yeah. it. Okay, now it works, so the passengers will be loaded, more or less.
go. Why did I teleport to this Alara? go I'll just put this on the switch list so I remember that I need to pick them up Okay, now locations. We just added a tier 3 contract with uh, Robinson Gap Call, is it? Uh, but it doesn't say what kind of cargo it takes. Uh, I, I would assume that it is taking call, is it? Uh, no, it's a mine, so it's gonna take some uh, mining uh, supplies and you'll have to fill up some coal cars. Oh, so I need to buy my own coal cars, or...? Uh, no, no, it's it works like uh, any other industries. Oh, I see. So things will be delivered to Interchange. I yeah. don't need to have my own fleet to operate this. Yeah, that's it. Okay. I do wish we could fill up our own cars in the mine, though. Yeah, that would be brilliant. Like, since we are using coal, why not buying it for local uh, from local businesses? Yeah. Like, yeah, it's a bit harder to get there, but you could have like a bit cheaper coal from that. I mean, even if it's ten percent cheaper, then like it's still ten percent cheaper. Yeah.
Uh, tank is. Is. Yeah. Is number one full, uh, number one on one fully fueled. Oh no, it's not. Uh, right. So after you finish with those cars, uh, if you can fuel up number one and start using uh, two o two, yes, two o two. I summary I lost uh, two days to download uh, two assets from trains. Are uh, he finally downloaded? Wow! <laughs> and then tomorrow there will be another update. And you will have to start start over again. Like that that that's typical oh, stuff for. So, uh, um, good for my, uh, some, um, mostly at, uh, ex-USR countries, uh, most players, uh, put a road with, uh, parts for this road, and it's not, uh, and you can not download via download station. Yeah, I see. So, some... As it's not uh, available at uh, like a queer base, and you need to download only via download station. Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds good. <laughs>
There we go. Okay, one or two is almost ready. go What are you doing? I'm moving interchange cars to the rest of the interchange cars. Oh, wait, I uh, want a uh, couple two cars in uh, front of the train. That's all. Oh, I see. So that's how you want to sort it. Okay. I thought you want to use 202 for that and, and park to uh, 101. Just uh, if I you if I will use two 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 zero two, uh, it take uh, some more longer time. So it's why you use uh, one zero oh, one for now. I see. I see. Okay. I will use uh, two zero two for uh, pull food for now. Okay. cut that's not going to be ready within the next hour that's not going to be ready that's not going to be ready that's definitely not going to be ready nope okay looking at how things look like doesn't appear that 
anything will be ready within the next hour around Bryson, which is good. 102 is now heading down from Hemingway. And the train is going to continue towards Whittier, which is good. Atrimi is dealing with uh, stuff around Silva. Nice one. Oh, there's one car to be picked up at Dillsboro. Darn it. <laughs> How did you manage to miss it? I did not miss it because there was no cars to pick up when I, uh, when I left. <laughs> oh, now there is one. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Good. Okay, two or one is ready to couple. There we go, and chat, the battle is ready. Look at this, chat. Absolutely amazing. This time I will place the high ground, so our archers and ranged units will have extra bonuses and now let the battle begin Hold the line! <laughs> Chat, that was outstanding performance, okay? This this was absolutely amazing. <laughs> they were never gonna get through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> not a chance. But it was, uh, it was easy battle though. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of easy battles, Chat, that's, that's the end of easy battles. We are going into hard uh, so battle. For example, if someone uh, just say GG. Good game. It was a GG indeed. <laughs> right, chat. We are... Moving into more difficult challenge. And since this is going to be the last battle of today's stream... I want you to put even more units on this battlefield. Okay, chat? I want to see an amazing army. I'm going to place my artillery since I'm, I'm not going to be using it for anything else today. Also, there is a blessing of the Hermes. Assassin units have double move speed and every 9 seconds become untargetable for 3 seconds. All units gain 50% defense against damage from ranged units. Okay, chat. So enemies will have 50% more defense against my artillery. But if you have Assassin, it's going to become a super powerful unit on this map. Okay, 
So every assassin is being called in. If you have assassin or rogue, that's the unit to be placed, okay? So every single assassin class, which is rogue, buster, flying rogue, shinobi, ballon buster, and spy. We need you. We need you to do destruction on this side. All the assassins. Give me, give me all of them. And everyone else will be vibing on this side. Uh, try, try to not place anything in, in these areas, because it, it, it makes no sense. Getting through the middle may be not the best idea. We might place some armored units and some, some other types of warriors in here just to basically hold the line. Uh, we, we might need some support, so uh, here and there, and, and obviously, yeah, somewhere there, and somewhere perhaps there, and there. And we don't need supports for assassins, they, they won't live. No. But yeah, chat, chat. I, I'm leaving this to you, okay? I'm leaving this to you. I, I like this chest centurion. I, I really like this rare unit. Okay, chat. I, I'm leaving this to you. You know what to do. I don't need to tell you that. Let's get back to our railroad. Okay, heavy freight train is assembled and ready. It will depart as soon as 102 will get to Whittier. In the meantime, I need to do some switching here. Do I? Oh, okay. Tankus is going to basically move that thing. No, he's not. Okay. Uh, we got... Water will need to be refilled, but... What I'm going to do is... Yard forward 20. I need to pull this cut into middle track. Because... Otherwise, the heavy train will just take this entire space. It's gonna take too much. Okay. Quickly sort this out while Tankis is going to drag pulpwood. Yes, yes, he's dragging the pulpwood. Perfect. 102 is on its way to Ela. And Atrimi is dealing with the Dillsboro. Is he? Okay. Then I will have oh, that's this long train. Is it? 
yeah I, I think that that's how long it's gonna be stuff that's coming from bryson will attach to the front and i will need to have access for number one to, to just overtake everything Still too long. There we go. Wow, the train will still be sticking past this junction. Very tight fit today. water let's make sure that this train is good to go it is
Okay. The one is still waiting. I can throw the switches. Perfect. That is now ready. We are just waiting for this station to be serviced. by our passenger train. There we go, passenger train has arrived at Whittier, which also means that we can now dispatch freight train. Double check whether brakes are released. Yes, they are now. Okay.
Perfect. Okay, so uh, uh, heavy freight train is moving and, 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 and Uh, Tankist, is 202 able to actually push this train upwards? Hello? I'm trying to push this train. Um... I, I think it's uh, need a little more power. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, you probably should have picked uh, the P2 cars first. Because there's only four of them and you would be able to push them up to, to the other siding. Also, everything would be grouped this way. And right now, everything will be split. I think I split out P, uh, near P1. Do you have enough space there? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, looks like switcher is still not enough for this train. I think uh, so. I have some understand um, of much uh, interactive effort. I mean, you know, you have over 300 tons of cargo right now which is rather heavy train and, and you are trying to push it um, up the grade. Uh, 
548 tons. 548. Yeah, okay. It, it's only the cargo that weighs 300. Because the purple that, that is loaded is 300 out of the entire weight. And the rest, yeah, wagons and, and stuff. Yeah, that, that would check out. I yeah. think uh, minimum uh, attractive effort is uh, uh, 28,000. It's, I think, minimum. Well, we don't have switcher like that. <laughs> so you have to make do with whatever you got. Are you sure you will have enough space to push that cut uh, so that you can put uh, the remaining four wagons at the front of it? I just uh, put that uh, near P1, yes. After I will go to P2, take uh, the wagons and I connect the uh, front of the train. Yeah, that will do. Meanwhile, chat, heavy train is passing through Ila. So it will arrive at Whittier really soon. I need to go roughly there and then reverse. Here comes the money. <laughs> oh, yeah. And stop. Nope. <laughs> the train doesn't want stuff. <laughs> there I mean, we it, go. It, it takes a while for this train to stop. <laughs> I mean, twice. <laughs> First part yeah, of the I... train stopped, and then another part. <laughs> yeah, it, it always does that. Okay, you just made seven hundred dollars for us. Good job. Yeah. There we go, chat. Now we are just waiting for things to happen. So there is tankies assembling a train at Connolly Creek. 
and he will have to push it towards this cut because I need it at, at the very end. Uh, there is heavy freight train heading towards Whittier. It will go past the interchange and reverse to pick up this cut. And then we'll use ARC 101 that has been assigned to heavy freight to act as a helper and basically a front unit for another 10 miles, which is distance from Whittier to Silva Interchange. We will only drop off last 10 wagons at Silva Paperboard so that they can be stowed at appropriate sidings and the rest will go to Interchange. And that's pretty much the flow of daily operations. You got heavy freight going from the interchange, distributing all the incoming goods along the route. So there is a drop off at Whittier, drop off at Bryson. Later on, there will be drop off at Alarca, drop off at probably somewhere around here, or straight to Andrews. Yeah, since all these places have only double track, that's probably how it's gonna go. Uh, I, I don't see too many businesses along this route, so... Yeah, there's something at uh, Nansala, but obviously it's only a couple of wagons. We can deal with that. Uh, there is a siding there, but again, it's probably one of the businesses that we will have to service. Topton... Rado, it's only double track section. There's literally nothing to, to do in there. And it's only Andrews that uh, that we will be probably servicing. And, and that's that's the station that has yards. So Andrews will have quite a lot of local shunters that will be assigned. And that's the only place where we will probably see light freight trains. So main three drop-offs will be Whittier, Bryson, Andrews, and Alarca, because that, that's the only places where I have some sidings. Basically, stuff at Bryson will be switched to uh, Andrews and Alarca. And that's that's going to be the organization of, of this whole place. Apart from that, yeah, there is nothing else we can do about it. Also, chat, in less than a minute, Twitch is going to serve you ads, and right after the ad break, we're going to finish the last battle of Stream Raiders, so stay tuned. At Whittier, you have two other cars. Take. Oh, is the stencil stuff ready? Oh my days, it is.
I'm gonna take care of 101, uh, Fluffy, if you need to uh, some time for the heavy train. Uh, I should be fine. But if you, like want to, if you want to sort out 101, feel free to do so. Yeah, I don't have much to do now, so might as well. Yeah, we won't be able to send a heavy freight today anyway. Uh, because I need to go to work in 25 minutes, so... I will have to wrap things up. Right, chat, welcome back. As I promised, while we are finishing up uh, today's work in... or on our railway, we need to finish off one last battle in Stream Raiders. Okay, chat. I can see we have nice vibing army. We got a couple of assassins where they should be. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. Thank you very much for following the plan. Okay, so chat. Killing field on the main army, as always. So that we can deal greater damage. And the rest is on you, chat. The last battle of today's stream has now begun. There is no turning back. Our great assassins have caused some havoc. The main army is flowing through the enemies. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Beautiful. Everything was according to plan. Chat, I am proud of you. This was amazing, this was fantastic, this was magnificent, and tomorrow, early in the morning, 9 o'clock, UK, we're gonna begin from Thermophile. Insane level challenge. I want you all to show up your support, okay? I will need every single unit we can pull out onto that battlefield. We're gonna go with harder challenges. Seeing your numbers today made me confident that we can do it, okay? Without a fail, chat. Nine o'clock tomorrow. Stay tuned. Right, so that's the end of the Stream Raiders for today. If you want to stay and hang out a little bit longer with Ray Roder as we wrap up today's operations, uh, feel free to do so. You are more than welcome to stay and uh, obviously leave a trace after yourself on the chat and uh, that would be absolutely brilliant and don't forget to drop me a follow i am running stream raiders and other games mostly railroader recently uh, each day in the morning except saturdays when i'm streaming in the evening or afternoon so stay tuned uh, drop me a follow uh, subscribe if if you are watching me on youtube uh, if you want to support that channel even further, you can subscribe. Uh, you can subscribe here on on Twitch, or uh, you can become a crew member on YouTube. It also helps in in a tiny way to to pay the electricity bills and invest in in new content uh, or or stuff like that. Right. Let's get back to Ray Roda. Right, so this train is now connected. Uh, I just need to find which... Oh, it, it's now not connected, chat. It, it's, uh, it's amazing how... How much sometimes this train needs in order to fulfill its operations. There we go. Now it is connected. Unbreak has been released. 
this one is in manual mode. Now I need to select this one. And turn the headlights off. In the meantime, Adrimi is connecting the last two wagons. And now he needs to navigate to the front of the train with uh, ARC 101. We are low on water, or lowish on water. We should be fine. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, last bit that we are waiting for is Tankist and 202 that will connect the last wagons at the back of this train. Okay, 102 now made its way to Dillsboro. We need to make sure that it's routed towards the station and then isolated. We don't want 102 to continue today. Perfect. Wonderful. Okay, and I can see Atrimi already connected both locomotives. Now we need to set them up. So this one is manual for now, and this one will be in manual, multiple unit, and this one needs to cut out. And now when we select 101 and release the brakes, okay. Ah, I see. Yeah, okay, now it will work. 
So there is a problem with cutout logic a little bit, chat. I, I can see a bit of a logic problem. So basically what happens is technically as soon as you set one of the locomotives to cut out the air brakes should be fully operated by train brake but for some reason they were still applied as a locomotive or independent brake and, and that didn't really work well Okay, we should be very close to 2,000 tons with this train. And I'm thinking that we might actually need a third locomotive as an help. You know, chat. Should we call in a third locomotive to, to be a helper? that 202 is disconnected okay what's what's going on with 102 oh 102 is not moving because junction was not set correctly to make sure that 102 is going to make its way to silver. Right, chat, the reason why I'm not sending passenger train just yet on on its return trip is that I need to plan things out, okay? So, obviously, the meeting would most likely happen at Barker's, but I can't have either of the... Uh, I can't have freight train waiting stationary at Barker's. It can't stop there. So I need to plan things so that passenger train is already there or passenger train is not in the way. Because otherwise, if I will, if that thing will stop, it's not going to move. It's 1881 tons. It is at its limit. I know it can do it. It will reach Dillsboro. We've already done it once with 1800 tons. So, I, I know that this train is going to do it, but it is going to just barely do it, okay? 
and it will be nearly drained out of water. Anyway. Chat. When it comes to today's stream, this is pretty much it. Okay. I am literally just waiting for, for this passenger train to arrive at Silva. You will probably be hearing it in, in the background. But from me, that is it. Chat. Thank you very much for joining us. And I'm saying us because obviously today's efforts were accompanied by Tankist and Atrimi who decided to join me directly. And I strongly encourage everyone else to join me. Uh, because it is a lot of fun. And it's always better to work as a team. Than it is to act individually. So. I'm hoping to see more and more and more of you. To, to join us whenever we are playing Railroader. Uh, as for tomorrow, I believe Tankist is going to show me how to drive things in Air Train Sim. And I hope that he will show up on time so we can actually get things rolling. So if everything will work out and if Tankist won't be busy with something else in the morning, uh, I will try to show you air train sim uh, but i will need tankis to help me with that game if he won't show up we will be back with ray Roder because there is pretty much nothing else planned uh but yeah uh we'll see what's what's gonna happen but it might be something new some nice new uh train simulator that not many people are aware of and and it's free so it's it's worth showing i, I i'm sure that everything what's free is is good always <laughs> I remember that. That's why I always liked Train Driver 2, which I'm not it, playing recently. But hey, Flappy, you know, I will uh, be back. What you problems you get in your registration? Uh, well, the problems that I got were my fault, basically, and and mistranslation. So I am not discussing that, especially especially now. <laughs> it's it's too late. Anyway, uh, chat. Yes. Uh, Join me later uh, in, in Ray Roder if you want to do that. And obviously, don't forget to drop me a follow. Uh, subscribe to my channel on, on YouTube if you are watching that content on YouTube when it's published. And well, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.